do on both sides. I'm delighted to present West Wind of Kettering, a Nordhaven 40 Sirius Expedition offshore cruiser. Uh, please join us as we go through this magnificent vessel. Um, it really is a delight to present and uh, we're very, very pleased, of course, to uh, be able to offer it for sale. Now, Nordhaven have quite a unique reputation uh, as serious uh, offshore cruising boats and uh, this, uh, this particular boat uh, presents in excellent condition. It's an absolute credit to the current owner who's instilled um, whatever's been required from a maintenance aspect and probably over, over and beyond what uh, would normally be done. I would like to uh, run through the features of Nordhaven in particular um, with their offshore cruising capabilities. It's certainly worth uh, commenting on that and, and in particular some of the features of this great boat. So the 40 is the smallest of Nordhaven's uh, fleet. However, it doesn't limit her ability to do serious long distance offshore cruising. The boat carries 3,400 litres of fuel, which provides a cruising range of 2,400 nautical miles at seven knots, which is amazing. Um, the boat also is fitted with a NIAD stabiliser system, and uh, this is uh, two uh, fins on either side of the boat, which can be operated a bit like a rudder, if you like, but they, uh, they operate autonomously and uh, really do make a huge difference in terms of stabilising the boat's motion underway. Um, it's a fully uh, documented Australian registered ship, so no issues with any import duties, but also with the ability to take the boat around the world. So um, that, that really, as I say, is what Nordhaven's all about. They are serious long distance cruising boats. But as we're walking through here, you can also see the quality of the fit out, and that really enhances the boat further in terms of just using it as a local cruising boat if, um, if your um, ambitions aren't as strong to uh, uh, sail around the Pacific or even the world. So the timber fit out is um, absolutely superb and it's in very, very good condition. Um, it really adds to the ambience of the boat. Uh, and here we see things like uh, the uh, master cabin, a lovely island bed. Again, uh, I must emphasize the timber trims, but also the storage um, in terms of uh, cupboards and, uh, and drawers is also uh, extensive and is uh, as one would expect um, when undertaking a serious long voyage. Bathroom, full bathroom. Uh, very, very nicely presented, uh, gleaming timber trim and uh, good use of uh, uh, glass finishes. And, and the big feature here, as I see it, is the shower bay. So it's just like you'd expect in an ensuite apartment bathroom. So large shower bay and quite separate. The, um, the second cabin is a twin, but the uh, lower berth actually extends out. As you can see, we've got it extended out here and it can be classified as what we say a honeymoon double or a very, very large single. The engine room is amazing. So uh, a, uh, a very uh, strong door there and um, it's uh, excellent access all around. So the operating systems and everything are very, very easy to get to, the gen set and so on. And, and it really is, again, a credit to the owner the way this engine room has been uh, looked after. It's absolutely immaculate. So um, it's a Luger diesel, 105 horsepower. And as I said before, provides very, very comfortable cruising at seven knots with a long range. So back into the saloon area, and uh, again, uh, excellent vision out. You know, sitting here is a pleasure. You get full views, better than a waterfront apartment. The uh, cockpit uh, has some comfortable seating, and that really would provide an alfresco extension to the saloon. Great duckboard, easy boarding, and so on. Everything as you'd expect in Nord Harbour. Um, the deck areas are very easy to get around, good size uh, bulwarks, um, quite a good uh, arrangement here where you don't have to go into the foredeck if you don't want to, but there's still that good space between the cabin and this area, all very functional, a couple of very good storage lockers there for fenders and mooring lines, and then we uh, head aft and go up to um, the rear deck area. And this uh, features the uh, tender and also the uh, crane uh, to uh, take the tender on and off the boat. Um, I also think that the way the crane's set up, it enhances the look of the boat and it adds to that expedition cruiser style, but it's an electronically operated crane, so very, very efficient. This is a wonderful vessel, beautifully presented. Go anywhere, we highly recommend it.